Grid you extracted, Malak, is saying that he's never heard of our client. What's more, he says his village was destroyed long before he was ever taken prisoner. Apparently it fell victim to some sort of disease, then was completely burned to the ground. Malak was out on a mission at the time, and that's the reason why he alone survived. But the question is, who hired us to find him? According to Malak, he saw strange soldiers snooping around the village when he got back. Turns out they were members of Cypher Strike Force XOF. My theory is they wanted to get their hands on Malak to question or silence him before the Soviets could get to him. Cypher was just using us to cover things up. All that crap about Malak's relative was a front to convince us to retrieve him. But an entire colony just wiped off the map. It sounds a lot like the Hamid during the Honeybee incident. All I know, boss, is there's no way in hell I'm handing Malik over to Cypher. I've decided to bring him back to Mother Base instead. He's one of us now. We told the client through a cutout that the target was killed. For some reason, though, they still paid us everything we were owed. Cypher's obviously up to something, and this is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything, and he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. The NGO that asked us to rescue wild animals isn't ready to take them in yet. So we had no choice but to build an animal conservation platform. The NGO said they'll cover all expenses, including the day-to-day -day housing and feeding costs. If you're interested, Take a chopper over and have a look. <laughs> the men would hear no alternative plans. <laughs> we can't just throw them into the water. I don't think they float. Well, th they do until they start to soak up all the water with their... Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. They float for a little bit. <laughs> and so Malik doesn't have he's like... He's only a bee. <laughs> yeah, he's... Well... Yeah. He has a, a unique uh, skill, though. That, that nobody else in the game has. That's why you want them. Oh, but, what's that skill do? Uh, I think you need it for better ranks of um, uh, tranquilizer weapons. Mm. I believe that's what his skill was. But yeah, uh, you know, Vapor Snake has been foltoning a lot of animals, and once you fulton like, I don't know, 10 or so, y you get the animal conservation platform. So uh, we're going to go check that out and see what it's all about. It's completely separated from the rest of Mother Base, though. You have to take a helicopter to it. It's not connected in any way. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just for safety's sake. Everybody's <laughs> safety. Oh, you got some fast thumbs there, boss. Yeah. Look at him go. Oh, welcome to the avian area. Uh, I do like the signage that they have on the animal conservation platform. Oh, like, you mean because it looks just like a zoo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like... So yeah, we they, got some dogs and bears, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the part below says cryptids, though. What? A what? No flash photography. Do not throw objects into the habitat. No smoking. No guns. No pets. Folding okay. <laughs> it turns out they like it. Yeah. And all animals, regardless of what they are, they fucking love it. It is a zoo. We only have two birds right now. But look, they're having a good time. This is luxury digs for two birds. Yeah. Um... But yeah, once you once you get a lot of birds, it's just like a tornado of birds just flying <laughs> everywhere in this place. Um, unfortunately, there's uh there is a limit to like how many animals are in the zoo, uh, and it's basically like no matter how many of any type of animal you capture, there's usually like two of each. So we're mm -hmm. also building an ark, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, animal conservation platform, also good because it has a bunch of uh, collectibles in it, and uh, once you start getting more animals that like 
some collectibles will start re like respawning and there are things that are usually kind of rare to find otherwise. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, but over here, got herbivore area one. <laughs> it's important to leave yourself room to grow. Yeah. Or room to graze. Whoa. But yeah, one of the things is uh, some of the rare plants you need for for higher rank stuff in this game will grow frequently hey, uh, buddy. on the animal platform. I just picked up an entire shrub. How do you like yeah. that? <laughs> I'm better at grazing than you, and you're a sheep. <laughs> um, also, sometimes you'll find uh, cassette tapes also poop. Uh, this is a cassette tape of just goat bleats. <laughs> What's up? I'm DJ Goat Bleats. <laughs> Gonna have a real good time. Drop the bass. Uh, got two wild asses. Even mm -hmm. though I only, I only fought one, I see but we got three. two. Uh -huh. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, it's. There was one thing I heard at like very soon, right, like right before this game released. Mm -hmm. And I have even Googled it, going like, where did this originate from on the internet? Because people claimed that the animals... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> they're terrified of you. Oh, no. <laughs> but not the real you. They're, not they're the chill. real me. S see, it's because I can't be here all the time. I'm trying to introduce <laughs> myself to them so they don't feel lonely, but I think I'm just scaring them. No, it, it seems that donkeys oh, have a real developed sense of the uncanny valley. It freaks <laughs> them out. No, look, see, they're slowly approaching. I think they're acclimating to me. <laughs> uh, but there was a, a rumor on the internet that, like, once you, like, achieved a certain rank with, like, your support team, that you would be able to airdrop the animals that you had in your zoo. And I, was, I just had dreams of, like, oh, fuck yeah, you can have, like, a special, like, bear unit and just airdrop bears into the middle of a base. That does not exist in this game. No, oh, uh, no! You cannot missed airdrop your animals. It's such a missed opportunity. Where's the expansion pack? Yeah. I want to drop a bear into a live war zone. But, like, anytime I've Googled this, I can find no actual, like, official, like, Kojima people or even any game sites reporting it. One of the first results is fucking me talking about it on Twitter. So I don't know where I heard this from. <laughs> your, <laughs> your ground zero. It came from you, Whoa. and other people thought it was real, and you forgot you made that joke, and you convinced Apparently. yourself. <laughs> Apparently that's what happened, yeah. There's like two or three other people, and some people on GameFAQs who have talked about it, and it's like, did it come from me first? I don't know how this happened. Oh. <laughs> We found the real Ground Zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's the animal conservation platform, though. We'll be back once we get more animals. But uh, oh you man, you I never ever see any other soldiers here. It's always just you and the animals. Mm -hmm. I feel like episode twenty-three is gonna be a feel-good update. We're all gonna have a great time. Yeah. Uh, Starting at the petting zoo, it's it's gonna be great. We're gonna keep this yeah. mood the whole time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. God, it freaks me out whenever he bends over and the the barrel comes right at you. Boss, a certain scientist has contacted us, wanting to defect from the east. His name is Emmerich. That's right. The man we knew is Huey. We suspect he was complicit in the attack on Mother Base nine years ago. He was working with Cypher. I've been waiting a long time for this. So I say, let's help Emmerich defect. Once he's here, we can sit down and catch up on old times. Emmerich is currently at Sorak Power Plant. This is our chance. Boss, head for the power plant. So yeah, it's finally time. Huey is back, and it's time to be friends with him again. Strangely enough, Huey isn't a main mission because it's not coming from a client. It's actually a side op. <laughs> but you still have to do the side op to progress the main story. It's weird. Sometimes there's like main story stuff as mm -hmm. presented as side ops instead. This is the game with the magic retcon room. Like, it, it, yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah, we're gonna, uh, Big Boss is gonna bring stun grenades, we just developed those. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, yeah, it's time to go and, and get Huey. And also because it's a power plant, there's probably going to be a lot of co uh, concrete around, so it's time to use some new camo. Ooh. Squares. We've got to fix that. <laughs> it's so dull. It's, it's, it's going to, the emblem stuff's coming very soon. Not this episode, but very soon. <laughs> I should stop saying we. I just, I'm just desperate for involvement. <laughs> Don't stifle my creativity, God. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, last episode, you, uh, you were saying like right is right at the end when we were finishing up the mission. You were going like, I don't think the plot started yet. You're correct. <laughs> it starts now-ish. It starts now when we get Huey. Now-ish, yeah, it's time to get Huey, and that's when shit really kicks off. It's, I understand the game being like, after the big opening, and you know, you play, probably played Ground Zeroes 2, like, it makes sense to have like, a couple missions where it's just mm -hmm, like, big mm -hmm. boss getting used to stuff, and like, you also learning the open world stuff. But I always feel like it was a bit of a misstep in, to go like, you know, you do like, three-ish missions, and then you have that mission where you, randomly encounter Skullface again on an otherwise normal mission. And then it goes back to three or four more, like, just doing stuff for yeah, money. I kind of wish those weren't there. <laughs> how long would that be, though, if you were going, like, if you were aiming straight for plot instead of all of this side business right. in three separate runs? I, right. We Even are if... artificially, I say we again, artificially <laughs> expanding that. that so here's the thing, like a lot of the missions, you know, are getting lengthened because of multiple takes, but all those multiple takes are also being played fairly quickly because I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, first time plays of missions are still usually 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how big the mission is. So really, it's still about the same length with the playthroughs <laughs> as a first time playthrough. So like... Even if you're going straight for it, it's still like it's still several a bit of a hours. pacing issue. A, a yeah, bit. yeah. It's I still think having like the four missions between Skullface and Huey is a bit, a bit much. But I'm yeah, digging because these arches though. Yeah, because we're going to uh, rescue Huey. We're going up to the the northern chunk of the map, which we have never been to before. So yeah, it's time for a boss fight, uh, and it's, they're basically just revisiting, like, what if it was the end again, but actually open world this time, and not tiny segmented maps? Mm-hmm. Um, not so quiet. What's with the humming? Yeah. We got a reputation to uphold here, lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, this boss fight's pretty cool. Uh, it's, I, it's, it's not as good as the ends, but I think the end is just more memorable because, you know, he did it first. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he had a lot of, more, he had a lot of Easter eggs with him, you know, taking him out preemptively, eating his parrot. The, the bird stuff, yeah. Yeah. The enemy sniper just disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. <laughs> What did I say, boss? <laughs> the thing with Quiet is that, yeah, she can uh, unmark herself, and she runs really fast, and she changes sniping positions a lot. But, yeah, as you pointed out, you can hear her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, you can you can track her via humming. Uh, a similar thing as the end is uh, sometimes the the sun will you'll see glare coming off her sniper scope, so you can track right, her that right. way. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing all three snakes are gonna be fighting quiet here because there's a lot of different ways to tackle this. <laughs> uh, I hope it involves some literal tackling like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with Big Boss, we're just gonna try and sneak up on her and, and, and take her out. Uh, cause she, uh, this is the first time we've, we've actually seen also that, like, a boss with both a health bar and a stamina meter. Yeah. Uh, so there, there are ways to take her out, uh, just by depleting your stamina, like in previous Metal Gears. Um, but, but getting close to her is really tricky just because of her speed and... Her AI works in a way where it's like, if you just get too close to her, even if she hasn't spotted you, she'll still move. Mm -hmm. there, there's a certain range where she'll just get up and leave. <laughs> um, so you, you gotta be careful with trying to get too close to her. Um, you can see, though, you can also track her when she's running, because, like, she turns invisible, just like the skulls did. Uh, but you can still see her, like, kicking up dirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I can't the really... bird here have anything to do with anything? Can... No, the, the, it's just normal birds, I think. Okay. I don't think they, ha they point anything out. Um, I want to make a bird friend, and the bird oh. will be like, Hey, hey, over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't really get close to her to, like, trank her or anything because of where she is, so it's stun grenades it is. Ow, my eyes. Whoa! Yeah, that looks like a special skill. I don't think anybody on Mother Base can do that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if she ever gets, uh... If you ever hit her in any way, she pretty much always, like, jumps into space. <laughs> like, to the opposite side of the map. And also, frequently, she'll drop grenades when she jumps, jumps away. Um, Venom Snake. Her, her carabiner can't take this sudden acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... A cool thing that I think a lot of people don't s notice. Also, we got pentazamine, so if you pop one of those pills, uh, your your hands won't shake at all when you're aiming a gun, which is good because we're going to be sniping her. Uh, a lot of people miss uh, that the environment is destructible here. So, like, Ooh. if you don't have a clear shot, you can shoot these. <laughs> yeah. A lot of her sniping points have destructible stuff, like those pillars there, too. You can shoot those pillars and have them fall over on her. Mm. So anything that's in highlight yellow, basically. Yeah, pretty much any of those. You shoot them, and it'll, like, collapse on her. Um, and, like, every single sniping point she goes to, like, you can reach them, too, even if they're really high up. There's usually some kind of way to climb up them. Um, well, use your super jump. Gosh. Uh, if only. There are mods to make uh, Quiet playable in this game, because uh, she became a, a playable character in Metal Gear Online, and she mm -hmm. she does have, like, most of the abilities she has. I don't think you can make her super jump, but she can sprint really fast and turn invisible and stuff. And it is possible to snipe her while she's running away. It's just really hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I've never personally done it, but I have seen a video or two of some guy who just, like, tried really hard for a long time to snipe her like that. No scope, pro strat. Yep. Yep. It, it, a 180 no scope, in fact. <laughs> All the way across the map. Uh, so the thing with Quiet is that you, you do want to try pretty, like, to, even if you're trying to just, like, kill her, to actually, like, sneak, because she can see you all the way across the map if you have no cover, um, <laughs> and she can hear you, like, there, she saw me, all the way over there while I'm crawling in the sneaking suit at night. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she can also hear very, very far. You have to be crawling if you're, like, trying to get near her, near her at all. And also, like, once she does, like, know you're somewhere, her her senses become more heightened. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. uh,
But yeah, one stun grenade is a quarter of her stamina. Um, you should probably give her some of your cassette tapes so she can get a new song. Right? But yeah, when you're trying to sneak, sometimes it just does turn into a lot of like, fuck, she's over there, and just going like, okay, time to crawl <laughs> over there for a while. Um, there are some some really funny spe ways to speedrun her, though. Um, specifically, uh, when you start off uh, this boss fight, you know, you're undetected. And there's like a weird, like oversight or glitch or something with her AI where when you first off the start off the boss fight, she's not aware of you in any capacity. So, like, she can't hear you running at all until she sees you for the first time. Uh -huh. So there are ways people, there are routes people have where you can just sprint right to her and then just, like, kick her really hard. <laughs> I was trying to judge, like, can I jump this without her seeing me? So, just in case, you're gonna use a smoke grenade. She doesn't become suspicious of smoke grenades, strangely. Well, that seems like an oversight on her part. Yeah, she probably get a point where I am, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> or where you were within throwing distance of very yeah. shortly ago. Um. But yeah, if you do get shot by her, uh, it immediately puts you into, like, it doesn't, uh, critically injure you where you have to, like, stop and, and heal yourself, but it puts you, like, right, really close to that. Mm -hmm, like, if you get mm -hmm. shot twice in quick su succession, you're dead. Fucking quiet! Alright, we're just gonna go after her here. Um... Yeah, speaking, of, yeah. speaking of getting shot oh. now, here's a good thing though, she shoots grenades out of the air if you throw them at her, but it was a stun grenade so it actually blinded her. <laughs> and because she's blinded and not really sure where I am, I can just kick her. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! She can also levitate! Yeah. Uh, so you can't, like, CQC with her, all you can do is kick her. You can't, like, get her in a grab. Uh, cause she just, like, she doesn't even, like, dodge it, it's just cause she's, like, crouched in a way that's awkward for CQC. She's um, very slippery. Yeah. It's all pond slime. That's what it Ugh. is. That's, that's the sniper's secret. Oh, jeez. But, uh, yeah, you, you can kick her. It takes half of her stamina out. You kick <laughs> her really hard. Um, and the R&D team went to, went to, uh, did some overtime on those boots. Yeah. Give me some research, some like super steel toed boots. I could knock everyone out with one kick. Um, but I kind of put myself in a a bad position here. She's directly <laughs> across from me, the other side, and all I have is this, is this little rock, and there's so <laughs> many trees in the way. <laughs> there's no way for me to like counter sniper in time. Uh. But that's okay. I'll just call in Mother Base to drop some fucking missiles on her. <laughs> I know roughly where she is. And like, she will change positions after a bit, but if you constantly just like... pop in and out so she takes shots at you, she won't move. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. Can't get enough. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of when I was like, CQ seeing her, uh... There is a special timing where you can actually chain two kicks together to, like, take her out instantly. There you go. Just drop some missiles on her. Done. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I, I actually think a missile drop will actually take her out in one hit. Or if well, not if one hit, Well, if it doesn't, almost. you need better missiles. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the, when you kick her, she, she'll fall over, get up, and then jump away really far. Uh, but there's like a split second where she's getting up off the ground where she's vulnerable to another kick. <laughs> and if, and if, it's really tight mm -hmm. timing, but if you if Work you manage your frame it, frame advance window, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, if you manage it, you can yeah instantly take her out with two kicks. That's all it takes. 
Uh, how strong is her footsies game? <laughs> uh, not great, actually. She She's more aerial, I think. Okay, okay. She has a dive kick. <laughs> Come on, everyone has a dive kick. Everyone has a dive kick, but do you see how high she jumped? She probably has a great <laughs> dive kick. I love the visual effect on that. Yeah, the sonar fist is really cool. Um, it makes me think of when the uh, the helicopter crashes into the building towards the end of the Matrix. Oh yeah, it's that, so and it good. does that cool ripple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're looking the wrong way, quiet. Well, yeah, that's as close as you can get to her. I guess she looked the right way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boss, don't overdo it. Just calling some missiles. Score some other time. Better to live and fight another day. So yeah, here's the other thing. You don't have to fight her. You just have to get to Huey. You can just bug out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can just, like, walk to the other side of this area and leave, and it doesn't complete the mission. This mission just stays active, and anytime you come back here, Quiet, whoa, Quiet will still be there. <laughs> you almost got fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I got this rifle that shoots rubber bullets, too, but, like, the rubber bullets, unless the headshot does not take off much stamina from, from people. Um, so just we're just gonna... Slob that one over there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ta-da! Did you get her? All right. Vapor Snake. It's time for our hero. Yeah. Come to show us the right way to do it. Now, so far, Vapor Stink's entire journey has been folding people and making a lot of friends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Vapor Snake is all about sharing. So I think, you know, we're starting off on the wrong foot here. This, I just got to show her, you know, that we can be friends. And I just got to start this off with some kind of kind gesture. Just like, I'm going to be real nice. We Look still have, boss, like, two cover. crates left of Mother Base Doritos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those, they float way better than sheep, like... <laughs> yeah. We've lost the secret recipe to the Doritos, so these are the last two crates in existence. So, uh, here. It's a special delivery from me to you. I hope you really appreciate them. Also, uh, can we get your signature real quick? Just... just for our records. I don't know if she really liked the Doritos that much. Yeah, the sniper just disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. How are you supposed to send your valentines, boss? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't leave a Ford in a dress. Look, nothing's gonna stop me from making everybody my friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Including the sheep and the doggies. Yeah. Look, I got a zoo! Do you have any friends who have their own zoo? Come on! You can pet all of them! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the only zoo where you can go right in the enclosure. Why? Yeah. Just cuz. Just cuz. That's how I've always wanted my zoo to be. We're in international waters. It's a law-free zoo. <laughs> exactly. Look, I think we're getting off on the wrong foot here. Let's do this. You know, let's get reacclimated. Look, we'll, we'll do this in a safe way. This is what I look like. <laughs> See? This is me. Uh, come on. <laughs> hey! Fucking... Okay, maybe sometimes the only way you can make a friend when somebody's being real stubborn uh, is to forcibly coerce them into hanging out. Okay, yeah, that sounds legal and ethical, <laughs> both at the same time. <laughs> We're not in international waters right now, but we will be! I'm gonna say the reason why Vapor Snake is so spry this time is because this is one of the rare moments where he's not 
vaping. Yeah. It, this is his... It's been a long time since he hit that e-cigar. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't hit it for a while, but when he doesn't, after he's been hitting it for a long time, he becomes, like, extremely, extremely productive. He still cannot pass a urine test. No. <laughs> is she a unicorn? Yeah, when she gets low on health or stamina, she'll go to sources of water and do this, and that lets her recharge her, her health and stuff. This lady was made for Mother Base. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Can you teach everyone else in the base to do that? Come on. Did you get her? With those abilities of hers. No doubt about it. She has to be one of the skulls. Now move in and finish your boss. She's working for Cypher. Quiet is a valuable source of information, boss. There's no need to kill her. Think carefully. This is your decision. Here's another one of those moments where Snake and Miller are on, are on each of your shoulders going like, Boss, this sucks! <laughs> and then Oslite goes, it sounds cool to me. <laughs> I, I just love every time it happens, because there's such... It's, it's not even like angel and devil, it's just like devil and laid-back devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I love that Miller, in this one case, is so blinded by his rage. Like, yeah. You know, suffer not a skull to live, but <laughs> wouldn't you kind of want to catch one alive? Just like... Yeah. Strategically. The female sniper. Quiet. Cypher's assassin. Finish her. She's one of the skulls. Hurry up and kill her. No. Killing her would be a waste. Bring her back here. Boss. Boss. But yeah, if you kill Quiet, you, you just kill Quiet. Uh, and she's gone for the rest of the game. <laughs> she just doesn't exist in the game, and any story stuff that happens with Quiet doesn't happen. It's over. Good. That was your call. I just hope you won't regret it. How are you supposed to buy all them figurines now? <laughs> uh, and yeah. Quiet just... Quiet stuff for the rest of the game doesn't happen now. Uh, same as if you just left the mission and never bothered with her again. That nothing would happen with her. left. 
D Horse doesn't agree with his choice either. Yeah. D Horse <laughs> left the hemisphere. <laughs> D Horse is always on Miller's side. He's running wild in Arizona. <laughs> Fuck you, boss. <laughs> Super powerful, super powered women. I'm fine just being a boys. He's just worried about the uh, the sunscreen budget on oh, Mother yeah. Base. <laughs> they do not have. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna skyrocket. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there you go. That's the boss fight with Quiet. Uh, I like it. I, I it's not as memorable as the ends, but it's still a lot of fun. Sure did star that. Wait, where's the horse's credit? Yeah, the horse never gets credited. He's that's, a character. That's star D horse, gall <laughs> darn it. I'm writing my senator. <laughs> <laughs> 